Right, so during these incredibly quiet and boring times, I thought I'd give you a quick update on what I've been up to. Hi, this is Everyday Prepper and welcome to the channel. So I've spent some time recently, as I normally do, uh, doing some research, um, some background digging, just to check on uh, what we might want to be aware of uh, as preppers, and uh, I can find nothing. In my last video, you know, I did talk about the uh, potential escalation um, with uh, Russia and Ukraine and uh, some of the comments that came back um, clearly told me that I was wrong and I'm fear-mongering and um, uh, scaremongering. So um, I wouldn't want to be accused of doing that. And in fact, you know, they're, they're absolutely right. Um, I was full of rubbish. Uh, there was a news article this morning saying that Russia is likely to attack NATO within two to three years. You know, I thought it was imminent. So <laughs> if we've got two to three years to wait, then we really don't have to worry about it. Um, so, uh, you know, what I suggest is the government um, twice recently uh, or, or reissued their um, advice on uh, being prepared. Uh, they've issued their preparedness campaign and they tell everybody, all the population of the UK, to ensure you have f three days worth of water and three days worth of food. So I'd recommend doing that. Don't bother doing anything else um, because that would be fear-mongering and uh, the government will look after you. In the meantime, um, I checked about the bird flu because a lot of people are saying that they're going to bring out that scam. Uh, the UK has been declared free of bird flu completely, so uh, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, so that's that gone. CBDC, well, I saw they just introduced the framework in Qatar. Other than that, can't see anything else going on there at all. So I can't imagine that really coming about, not for a long time anyway. So uh, certainly nothing to worry about there. Uh, some of you may see, uh, may notice a slightly different tone in my voice. Uh, that's basically called sarcasm. Uh, we're pretty good at, at it in the UK. Yeah, so during these quiet times, my uh, only suggestion would be to, um, you know, obviously there's nothing to panic about or be concerned about or have any sense of urgency about, uh, clearly. So uh, I would maybe just um, ensure that you've got calendar dates for cleaning out your uh, filters. On um, That's something I've been doing, is, is making sure I know how to scrub my filters and my water filter and uh, calendar dates as to when to do that. Making sure all my solar panels are nice and clean and uh, doing a bit of dusting around the house, a bit of tidying up, and just normal day-to-day -day stuff, really, just, uh, you know, live your life. As I say, you know, as long as you've got some batteries, a couple of torches, uh, a bit of food and water tucked away, uh, you should, uh, should be absolutely fine. You should be able to ride pretty much any storm that uh, that hits you, apparently. So, yeah, so I hope I'm, I hope I'm not being too alarmist here. Also wanted to update on a couple of other things. Um, we've been told there's a massive solar flare uh, was due to hit Earth today, uh, 4th of June. Um, I turned the radio on this morning, amateur radio, which apparently, you know, this, this terrible solar flare or CME or whatever it was, was going to take out amateur radio and uh, high frequency radio and uh, you know, maritime radio and all of that uh, possibly disrupt satellites and GPS um, while I use GPS on a daily basis I've had absolutely no problem with it whatsoever and the radio signals was absolutely fine I was able to get my local repeater so um, all fear mongering, all rubbish uh, absolutely nothing to worry about there so um, I can't see any kind of current event happening anytime soon Oh, and also I thought I'd throw in a global warming update. Uh, they said it was the, um, I mean, I remember feeling that May was probably one of the coldest Mays I've ever, ever seen. Uh, apparently it was the hottest on uh, record in the UK. So I'm not sure how they're calculating this, but um, they know best. And so obviously um, global warming is uh, definitely a thing. Um, not sure what we're supposed to do, but uh, again, you know, the government has said put three days worth of food away, uh, so I'd strongly recommend that. In the meantime, um, for, for my own personal peace of mind, what I have been doing is ensuring that I've got one room in the house as a hub for uh, all of my preps. So I've got my solar coming into that room. Uh, it's an inside room, so there's no outside walls. Uh, well, there is a, a sort of an outside wall, but it goes onto my outhouse. Uh, so it's another kind of another another shell outside of that. The uh, my radio shack is in there as well, my amateur radio shack. So all of my comms are in there, my solar is in there. Uh, I'm gradually bringing a load of preps in there as well, including uh, dive tanks with compressed air and my. Um, 
uh, dry suit which is all sealed at the wrists and neck uh, just in case of any radioactive fallout so if something did happen and uh, you know nuclear wise and, uh, and we needed to stay inside that room that would be the room to stay so I'm going to make sure there's all kind of bedding in there and everything else uh, I'm not going to go into, into detail because uh, absolutely no point that would be fear mongering uh, it's just for my own peace of mind so uh, yeah, what I suggest is uh, you know enjoy this week. It's, uh, it's a very warm day today. Seems quite a warm week, and hopefully we get a warm weekend, a nice decent weekend like we did when I was away at the bushcraft weekend, spending time with um, uh, people who take prepping seriously. So yeah, I thought I'd just keep in touch and let you know what I've been up to. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and stay reasonably prepared. <laughs>